Hey guys, what's going on? It's Funko Agent, and I'm finally back with a new video. Um, I have so many ones that I want to show you. It's super cool. As you guys know, this week was the San Diego Comic Con exclusives, so I I had a little stumble there, so I couldn't get all the ones that I wanted, uh, especially with the whole uh, shipping lag. I hope I, I know you guys probably felt that too, um, but I was able to do some good trades, some good buys, and also not only did I get San Diego exclusives, but also other pops that came into the mail. So. Uh, uh, so today what we have here is the Carnage uh, Carla Unger from Pop in a Box, uh, Cora, uh, just something I picked up finally, and then the San Diego exclusives of Hello Kitty, Super Saiyan Goku, Cyborg Superman, and Nightcrawler. And then this morning I just picked up the Target exclusives for the 10 inch Vulpix and the Doomfist. Uh, the ones in the mail though, I did get at least Mikey and the flocked Mewtwo from the Funko Shop, so they're on their way, so I'm hoping to get that. And other than that, it's been a great weekend, so I can't wait to open these up and do a new video for you guys. So let's do this. So the first one we'll do is the Carnage. So you can see here, the Carnage is pretty cool. Another addition uh, to the Venom Collection from Pop in the Box. You can see in the back here, the original uh, set here. Okay, so this is Carla Unger. Uh, this is one of the spider universes here where uh, this doctor was examining the Carnage symbiote and she was in an abusive relationship. So when the Carnage took a hold of her, uh, she went crazy and killed her abusive boyfriend. So you can see here, it's got the Carnage uh, symbiote because it's all red and black. Uh, I do like the teeth on the side here, which is really cool. The tongue sticking out, uh, which usually that's a venom trait, but at least they did it here. And the uh, levitation is pretty cool. So all in all, I give this pop a good two thumbs up. So really nice. Next, we'll go with uh, Cora. So I know this is not an exclusive or anything, but this is part of the Avatar set. I knew I wasn't going to pick up all of them, so I'm just going to pick up Korra, which I did because I thought she looked really nice. Uh, and um, yeah, so finally I got one, and here's the collection here. And there's a few other exclusives for her. I'll probably pick those up if I can, but other than that, at least I got one f uh, of her. So what really got my eye was the um, elements shown for her. As you can see here, you got the fire coming on one side, the water on the other, and then the earth on the bottom. Uh, as for the air, you, you can't really see air, so uh, at least that way you could see she's uh, you know, doing her little stance, which is nice. Uh, she's from the Water Tribe. Uh, looking at the back here, it's really nice how they made those you know, intricate from each other. And um, yeah, so this is a nice pop. I do like this. It would be really cool if Aang had this type of a cool uh, element thing here going on with her um, but this is cool it would be really nice if the avatar state one was like this too but they don't have a chase for that they have one for another one but uh, that one I haven't seen yet so next we'll go with finally the San Diego comic-con exclusives so the first one we'll do is the Hello Kitty uh, this one is shared with GameStop and I think there's a set here, so it got a Hello Kitty set here with all the kaijus and the mechs. So hopefully when we, when we see that set there, I'll do an unboxing of those when I get those. Okay, so this is the Hello Kitty one. As you can see, she's in a mech suit. Uh, you can see the signature bow on top here. Uh, no ears, as you can see, she's wearing like a, a helmet here. Uh, you can see it's like a jetpack here, which is really nice. Uh, the head doesn't move. Oh, it does move. Sorry. So it does move here. And um, yeah, so you got that uh, little cute face here. So this is a nice Hello Kitty set. I don't really collect Hello Kitties, um, but I may collect the Kaiju and the Mech Suit collections because they look pretty cute. So I'll probably grab those. So this is what I got this one for. Uh, next, we'll go with the Cyborg Superman. So this one was for Target.
Okay, so uh, this one's really nice. It's really cool. It's got like the half face, half uh, robotic uh, scene here. You can see it's all Superman, Cyborg. Uh, you can see most of the mechanical stuff on this side and then his suit on the other. Uh, the cape's a nice touch. I do like this uh, insignia here in the back. It's really good in detail. And then, yeah, the face uh, itself is pretty nice. So this is a pretty cool pop for any Superman fans out there, uh, the cyborg version of him. Uh, we're going to save Goku for last, and then we're going to do Nightcrawler. So as you know, the Fox movie X-Men ones are coming out. Uh, you can see the back here, uh, most of them here right here. So I'll probably pick these up now since I got the Nightcrawler. Um, they don't have a cartoon Marvel Nightcrawler. So this is the reasons why I got one because I have the other cartoon versions of the X-Men, but not a Nightcrawler. So at least this is added to my collection for X-Men. This one's pretty tough to come out because I don't want to break the his stand. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, so this one's really, really nice. This is pretty much him when he uh, teleports and transports to a different uh, area. So you can see the nice smoke blue uh, fluorescent type um, design here. Uh, and then this is the movie version. So he does have his uh, signature like tattoos and uh, markings on him, which is really great. And um, yeah, the overall posture is pretty cool. I like the tail coming out as well. And you can see the back, a uh, very nice, intricate, uh, fluorescent design. And then the stand makes it all better. So him hopping in midair is pretty cool. So I give this really, really good two thumbs up too as well. Now everyone that's been waiting for is the Super Saiyan Goku God mo mode um, from Hot Topic. Okay, I gotta say, this is probably my favorite one out of the entire lot that I picked up. Uh, the Goku looks super clean, super nice. The hair color is amazing. The fire on the background is super cool. I like how it co goes around the pop, so it has some more distance to it. So that way he looks like he's leaping in the air, which he is. Uh, and then the back here is just straight up cool. Um, actually, oh, looks like I had some kind of dust there, some knack in there, that's okay. Um, but he's wearing his original uh, outfit, the material uh, martial arts from Master Roshi. And um, yeah, his posture is cool, his stance is awesome, and man, this color is popping out. So uh, this is really, really well done for Dragon Ball Z. Next, we'll go with one of my favorite collections that's added is the Doom Fist from Overwatch. I've been waiting for this since last year because they announced it, but finally they got it out. Okay, so he's really cool, the Doomfist, which is nice. We'll take a look here. He's got the cool Jaguar uh, fur uh, pattern there, which is awesome. Uh, the African look, which is amazing. Um, his skin is so cool. This is really cool. And I, when I mean skin, I mean this is his outfit for skins here, not his color skin. Uh, but yeah, so he's got the loincloth, and the fist is really good into detail. I do like this entire pattern of Jaguar, so... And then he's got some tattoo designs on his arm and some, you know, warrior paint here. So all in all, this is a very cool pop for, uh, for Doomfist. Now that we've done all the small ones, it's time to get to the big one. I know I told you guys I wouldn't get 10 inch pops, but I had to because it's Pokemon. So let me get this guy out for a second. It was well worth it. I know I shouldn't. I know I wasn't going to collect the 10 inches, but I end up doing so. So here's the Vulpix. Um, he, she looks really good. She's really beautiful. Nice color. Uh, the tail is immaculate. Very nice. Uh, you know, normal 
Pokemon design. And then the ears make it pretty pop out, which is nice. And she looks immaculate. So it is a very cool pop for any Vulpix fans. And she was pretty cute. It's the Fox Pokemon, um, which is really cool. So, And then this is probably one of the biggest bases I've seen for pop figures so far. Um, I don't know any other 10-inch that has a, a base, but it looks like she could stand on her own without the base, it looks like. But I'm just going to pop this in and see how it looks here. And there's actually a, two big holes and then two small holes. So there we go. So that is my collection for this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did enjoy it. I can't wait for my other pops to come in from the mail, which is going to be super cool. I, I did remind myself, I did get the Mikey surfboard, the Flocked Me 2, and the Captain Marvel from Amazon. So once I get those, I'll do an unboxing on that. Thank you guys so much. And like I said, please, please subscribe and like my videos. The more subscribers I get, the better. And I just love doing these. So once you get more subscribers, you want to do more. So uh, other than that, I'll see you guys later.